Get in it. So first, let's take a thumbnail. Okay, your seat is like. Oh, do you want to come up close? Oh wait, you're right. I should move back. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm so stupid. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a special guest today. We have my best friend Laura. I'm gonna put her um, Instagram right here, right here. Um, so go follow her. Today we're gonna do a little best friend tag because Laura and I have been best friends since first grade. I, well, okay, we weren't best friends in first grade though. We met in first grade, but we weren't best friends until like, I guess probably like second or third grade. Yeah. So we're just gonna answer some questions. I put something on my Instagram story and asked you guys to ask us some questions, but I might pull up like an, a, um, a, what's it called? A best friend tag thing that has questions on it. And then, yeah. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, yeah. <laughs> Do whatever. Wait, is this live? What? No, this is not live. I have to edit this video. <laughs> Let's start with, what is your favorite memory together? Um, Halloween with Lauren. <laughs> Do you want to tell that story? No, okay. So, uh, this story, this is this is a funny one. So, we went trick-or-treating. I guess it was probably, it was like fifth grade. Us and our friend Lauren went trick-or-treating in her neighborhood. And I dressed up as a fat, <laughs> tacky lady. That was just my, that was my costume. It was fat, <laughs> tacky lady. I stuffed a bra and I had a pillow as my stomach and as my butt. At, or actually, no, it was probably just my butt. <laughs> and um, I had a wig and like, cute like a ton of lipstick and it was just really funny <laughs> um and so we went trick-or-treating and it was the first time i was ever allowed to go to somebody <laughs> else's neighborhood to trick or treat. and the first time i was ever allowed to trick-or-treat without my mom i remember that she was so like she she was so apprehensive about letting me go out to trick-or-treat like on our own because she was like you're gonna get kidnapped and now that i like look back on it i'm like why did anyone let us not like nine-year-olds run around trick-or-treating or like <laughs> ten-year-olds run around trick-or-treating by ourselves like who thought that was a good idea like, me and lauren like went up to the door like normally <laughs> <laughs> And then was like hanging on <laughs> i guess they had like a porch they had a porch this one house did and they just like jumped up and like went to the door they were already at the door but i had pillows and a bra and a huge pillowcase full of candy and I couldn't easily jump up on the thing because I had a huge costume and I and like on the, on the ledge it was like a pretty big porch I'm on the ledge their porch with like both hands up and my, my knee up on it and I was like guys wait and they were like just they just started dying laughing and then I peed my pants <laughs> <laughs> No, because me and Lauren didn't believe it. Oh, they didn't believe me that I peed my pants So we didn't go home right away, but I was like guys So I like literally swear like I peed my pants and they were like no you didn't like stop you're being dramatic And I was like no like there is pee dripping down my leg Please let's go home and they were like, okay, like, fine, like, we'll go home, like, we'll see. And then they just saw that my pants <laughs> were soaked. And that, it was really funny. But yeah, so that's probably like our best memory together. That was in fifth grade. But yeah, that was a funny one. Laura, you need to get in the frame more. You're like not in, yeah. Keep your okay. elbow on here so we make okay. sure that you're in the frame. Pancakes or waffles? I don't like breakfast food. That is true. I remember one time we went to <laughs> Brian's Waffle House in Avalon and she did not want to go. She was like, I want to go get lunch food. And I was like, no, we're going to get pancakes and waffles. Like, stop. Like, just stop. And so we go there and she gets a cheesesteak <laughs> and she puts ketchup all over the freaking cheesesteak. It was gross. <laughs> But yeah, how old are you? 21. I'm. She's 21. She just turned 21. Guys, wish her a happy belated <laughs> birthday. And I am 20. So this one says she's single. Yes, I'm single. <laughs> Me too. Best friend tag questions. <laughs> Who's more likely to get fired from a job? Um. <laughs> I feel like you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 
I, I, well, because I feel like Laura, Laura's like, she wants it her way or the highway, and like, if you cross her, she's just gonna be like, fine, I'm quitting. Right? Like, she wouldn't even get fired, she would just quit. <laughs> Who is the better cook? Laura, for sure. What? You cook at school, don't you? <laughs> no, Julia cooks. <laughs> Julia Gavish. <laughs> I thought you cooked at school. <laughs> I don't. I don't I can cook. make like easy mac. And <laughs> if you want I, I, I don't know why. Julia I makes that. like gourmet meals. I want a Julia. <laughs> Who's more likely to get kicked out of class? I'm I, a good student. You are a good student, but I feel like I feel like me. I feel like I would get kicked out of class because I would be talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think I've I've been kicked out of class for talking before. <laughs> are you a cat person or a dog person? You're dog. like dog, but like also like neither. Yeah. I only like my dogs. I don't like other people's dogs, I feel like. I like Holly now though. I'm you barely like your dogs. <laughs> like I wouldn't even say that you like them, you tolerate I like, them. <laughs> I like Tito. Yeah, Tito's cute. What is your friend's dream job? Okay, I'll answer that for you. Orthodontist or anesthesiologist? <laughs> Okay. What for me? Um, I think like more influencer. Yeah, I get. Well, th this is what this is what we've been talking about lately. Where I'm, Laura asked me, and she's like, "Do you think you're still yeah. gonna keep doing theater?" Which I am gonna still keep doing theater. Like I love theater. I couldn't I couldn't stop doing theater or acting or anything. But you know, I think it's just really like I'm just gonna see where my life takes me. I don't have to figure it out at this moment. Like. Do I want to go audition for TV shows in LA? Yeah, I would love to do that. So that's that's another thing I'm thinking about right now. Um, and like auditioning for like TV and film. But I also want to audition for theater and like Broadway and everything. Um, but I also want to like be a YouTuber and like be an if influencer. I could, see you, I could like see you like doing that and like being so good at it. Wait, which? YouTuber. Yeah, and that's kind of why I'm like thinking basically what I want, like if ideal, like dream, I would like be on a television series also doing YouTube. Yeah. So, and like influencing and all that. So like, we'll see, <laughs> who knows? Maybe that will happen, maybe it won't happen. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna like go wherever it takes me. I don't, I don't need to know right now and I probably won't even know when I graduate, you know? Who is more likely to get arrested? You. Yeah. Definitely. Have you ever vacationed together? Well, we've gone down the shore together, and that's honestly, yeah. like, for people who live around Philly, like, that's your vacation, essentially. Our families aren't, like, big, like, vacationing families. We just go down the shore. Like, that's our vacation, which is fine with me. I, I love the shore. Ooh, if we order Domino's, what's our order? Um, create your own pasta, heavy marinara, Italian sausage. <laughs> Wait, I did that what? a lot at school. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I didn't even know you could do create your own pasta. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's Laura's order. I got a medium pizza with the um the handmade pan crust. And the one that's in the black box, I don't know, but it's in the black box. With extra pepperoni and ranch on the side, and sometimes I'll get the garlic dipping sauce. And then I will also get a Diet Coke, of course, and then I will get cinnamon twists with two icings. And yeah, that's really funny though. I didn't know that you could do a create your own pasta. Yeah, I always order it, like every time. Huh, is it is it like actually good? I don't even get the pizza. Like, is, it's like actually good? So good, huh? And the bread bowl is so good if you want that bread too. Oh, if you put, you can put it in a bread yeah. bowl. Yeah. Ooh, if we were on a deserted island, what items would we not live without? Our phones, or would you say something else? No, yeah, I feel like phone. Cause yeah, cause you can do everything on your phone. Um, and then water, diet coke, <laughs> and what food would we bring? 
Pasta. Pasta. Because we can do so many different things with it. <laughs> we could eat it plain, we could add butter, we could add marinara, we could add vodka sauce on the deserted island. We can figure it out. How would you describe your friend's fashion sense? Oh, I feel like I can do this well for Laura. So she's like kind of like sweet and flirty, but she has a little bit of an edge to her. So as you can see, she's <laughs> <laughs> she has she has a, uh, a butterfly tank top on right now if you can see then she also has these pants on with it with the stars so that has a little bit of an edge to it she's like sweet and sassy I would call Lara as far as her fashion sense goes describe your best friend in one word <laughs> I'm scared um for you I want to say crazy I I <laughs> I want to say that. I do want to say that, but I, I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that's not the right word, though. Like, crazy isn't the right word. Um, vivacious. Lara's vivacious. Vivacious is how I would describe you. For you, I would just say like spontaneous. I can agree with that. Yeah. And just like good to do whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I agree with that. Spontaneous. <laughs> I'm a little crazy. What genre of music does your friend listen to? Rap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do I listen to? For you, I feel like good vibes. Like I don't know how to explain it. Do you know? Yes. That. Well, yeah. I mean, like when. I, so like, when what's your favorite song? Right now, I think I would say 24-7-365 by Surfaces. I really like that one. Or I like Loving is Easy by Rex Orange County. But I also love Kid Quill. Kid Quill is like my What is your favorite junk food? I feel like I know this for you. Hot Cheetos. <laughs> is that They're it? Roll up. Oh my god, how could I be so dumb? Of course it's fruit roll-ups. Do you remember when you would just bring a box of fruit roll-ups over my house? Lara would literally, it's like, she would come over my house and just bring a box of fruit roll-ups with her and finish it. My camera's about to die, so we actually have to finish this up. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please hit that subscribe button because that really helps me out and I would really appreciate it and turn on the notification bell so that you know when I post videos. Thank you for doing this with me, Lara. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.